Ernie and Sylph, the two frogs who lived in Fat Tulip's back garden, were playing cricket one day when suddenly they heard a <laughs> noise. Sounds like thunder, said Sylph. Must be raining. No, what, said Ernie. There's someone coming towards us. And there, staggering through the grass, they saw a tortoise wearing a white crash helmet lurching towards them. It lifted up its neck and it said, my name is Lewis Collins, and I'm going to jump over Fat Tulip's house. What? Why? said Ernie. Because, said Lewis Collins, it's there. Well, well, that's not a very good reason, said Ernie. But it was too late, because by this time, Lewis Collins was speeding incredibly fast towards Fat Tulip's house. Well, I say incredibly fast. To you or I, it would have been so slow that it would have been incredibly boring. But for a tortoise, it was fantastic. Lewis Collins reached Fat Tulip's house and he jumped. And do you think he jumped over the roof? No. Do you think he got as far as the bathroom window? No. Do you think he managed to get as far as the kitchen window? Mm-mm. Lewis Collins jumped about that high and then he collapsed, exhausted, on the earth. That was too easy, my young frogs, he said. I've decided I'm going to tunnel my way under Fat Julep's house instead. Ernie and Sylph said that they'd watch, but after a couple of hours they got very bored. Poor old Lewis Collins was tunnelling so slowly he'd only managed to lift up one pebble. <sighs> then Dorian, Fat Julep's dog, came bounding over. Oh, 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 hi, hi, he said. Ah, uh, can I help? And Lewis Collins said, no. I'm tunnelling my way under Fat Tulip's house, and I've nearly finished. But Sylph thought that Lewis Collins did need some help. Ah, uh, Dorian, she said, why don't you dig up that bone that you buried just here? Ernie was just about to ask what bone when he realised that it was one of Sylph's tricks. You know, said Sylph, that bone that you buried here ooh, uh, last Christmas. Oh, wow, uh, did I, said Dorian. Oh, I, I don't quite remember. Um, how big was it? And Sylvie said, oh, it was enormous. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think, I, yes, it's coming back to me. It, it was a bone, wasn't it? Do you know what? I think I'll dig it up. And he started to dig. He went until he'd got this enormous great hole. Oh, cripes, he said. There's nothing there. No bone or anything. And Sylvie said, oh, well, I expect you've dug it up already. And Dorian lumbered sadly away. Lewis Collins looked down the hole. Oh, I must have just dug that, he said. And then, boom, he fell in. He looked all around the hole. Oh. This hole I've dug's really big, said Lewis Collins. I'll be under Fat Tulip's house in no time at all. Inside the house, Fat Tulip was feeling incredibly grumpy. He'd lost his glasses and he couldn't see to find them. Couldn't see where he was leaning and he'd lent in a jelly. Couldn't see where he was sitting and he'd sat in a trifle. Looked in the bathroom, looked in the kitchen. Couldn't find them anywhere. Oh, I know, he said. Maybe they're in the garden. And he groped his way down the garden path. Maybe they're in the rose bed, he said. I did do some weeding around here. And he groped his way through the roses. Ah! He went as he fell into the hole. What? What's this hard, round thing that I'm sitting on? 
it was Lewis Collins. Lewis Collins immediately pulled his head back in and kept his eyes shut. Fat Tulip said, I think it must be that football that I lost last week. I'll take it indoors. And he got up and he groped his way back to the kitchen. Quick, said Ernie and Sylve. Stop that tortoise. Fat Tulip groped his way into the kitchen. Oh, he said, this is the place for balls. And he threw Lewis Collins into the cupboard. Lewis opened his eyes and he found himself in this big, dark place. Hmm, said Lewis Collins. My tunnel's really good. He lurched forward and walked straight into a dustpan. He didn't know it was a dustpan because it was so dark, but he felt this enormous big mouth thing. I've walked into a lion's mouth, he said. Lucky I'm such a good wrestler. And he jumped out of the dustpan incredibly quickly. Well, he thought it was incredibly quickly. It was incredibly slowly, actually. And he flipped the dustpan over and sat on it. Meanwhile, Fat Tulip was groping his way round the kitchen, still looking for his glasses, while Ernie and Sylve tiptoed this way across the kitchen, looking for Lewis Collins. Fat Tulip nearly stepped on them, but they jumped out of the way, jumped onto the table and hid in the fruit bowl. Mmm, said Fat Tulip, I really fancy a nice tomato sandwich. He groped in the fruit bowl and picked up what he thought was a nice, fat, round, young tomato. But in fact, it was a nice, fat, round, young Ernie. He slapped him between two slices of bread, opened his mouth and... Oh, I really fancy some salad cream on my sandwich, he said. Put the sandwich down and turn round to get the bottle of salad cream. Immediately, Ernie jumped out of the sandwich and hissed at Sylv, Quick, find me something else to put in. Sylv looked round, grabbed the first thing that she saw and shoved it into the sandwich. Then the two frogs hid round behind the fruit bowl. Just at that moment, that tulip turned back again, slopped a whole load of salad cream <laughs> on his sandwich and took a bite. <laughs> Ah, he said. Oh, he said. A sausage. An uncooked sausage. I've just eaten uncooked sausage. What an awful day I'm having. And sat down in his chair. Only there was a crunching noise. Yes, you've guessed it. He'd sat on his glasses. Oh, this is the worst I have ever had, said Fat Tulip. And he went upstairs to bed. Immediately, Ernie and Sylve raced round from behind the fruit bowl to rescue Lewis Collins. Come on, they said, come on, Lewis. I'm stuck, said Lewis, in this really dark tunnel. And Sylve said, you're stuck inside a Wellington boot, come on. And she and Ernie dragged the Wellington with Lewis Collins inside it across the kitchen floor and out into the garden. At that moment, Dorian came bounding up. Oh, oh, wow, he said, a boot. I love boots. And he picked up the Wellington and he started whirling it round his head. Stop, stop, said the frogs. There's a tortoise in that boot. But it was too late. There was a sound. And immediately, Lewis Collins went flying out of the boot and landed in the orchard. Ow! Went Lewis Collins. The two frogs raced over. Are you all right, they said. Of course I am, young frogs. I tunnelled under Fat Tulip's house, I fought a lion, and I've just jumped back over his house again. I bet you're glad you've got me around. What? Oh, yes, said Ernie. And tomorrow, said Lewis Collins, I'm going to ski down Fat Tulip's roof, holding a box of chocolates in my hand. Why? said Ernie. Because a tortoise has got to do... What a tortoise has got to do, said Lewis Collins. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs>